go. We asked you, what would make God good news? And today we're looking at the question, would God be good news if he let everyone into heaven or if he gave people what they deserved? Now, Andrew, you're going to be looking at the Bible today trying to answer that question. How are you going to answer that? Yeah, look, I, I'm loving this series. It's, it really is an opportunity to reflect on, is the message of the Bible good news? What would make it good news? That, it's a great question to wrestle with. And what we'll look at, through the Bible today is a story that Jesus tells about a, a Pharisee from the ancient world and a tax collector from the ancient world. Pharisee, a man who looks good, but when you dig into his heart, not so good. A tax collector who looks bad, and when you dig into his heart, he really is bad. Uh, two bad people, but one looks good, one is, looks bad. He, he says these two people come to the temple to pray, to connect to God. Uh, to find being right with God. And he says only one of them goes home right with God, which raises all kinds of crazy questions. Why the, why the bad guy and not the one who looks good but is bad? It's an extraordinary question, but it actually shows the Bible brings news that is far better than any other news. Do you know, we had answers along the lines of God would be good news if there was no hell. Well, I want to consider that and reflect on whether that really is good news. It seems like it might be, but it actually removes any sense of justice from the world. It actually leaves the, the, the abused and the innocent crushed and suffering if there's no justice, no judgment. The other one, though, is God would be good news if he got rid of the bad people, which again seems right, makes sense, except what Jesus' story shows us is there is no not bad people. We are all caught up in this. And so what we need is a different kind of news which the Bible brings to us. The news that there's a way to get right with God even though your heart is, is broken, you know the horror of it. Uh, there's a way to get right with God and it's through what he's done for us. And if we just throw ourselves on his mercy because of the act of God in sending his son to take our punishment, we can be forgiven. And that is the best news better than any that we're hearing around the place. It's great news. Yeah, amazing news to hear. Uh, and if you want to do that, please click through the video to hear the full answer to this question.